One day in early 2010, a senior official noticed something odd happening on his phone. It was sending an email from his account automatically. He watched dumbfounded as the email went out to a long list of people, none of whom he knew. Seconds later, he saw the email disappear from his sent folder. Eventually, he heard from the FBI that his email account had been hacked. From a definition point of view, a hacker is someone who seeks and exploits weaknesses in a computer system or network. Since computers are increasingly used in more and more devices, the fear of hacking too is getting bigger and bigger. Hacking is a concern at an individual, organization as well as country level. Political and military leaders even talk about the prospects of cyber war. Now let us take a step back and focus on the word hacker. A hacker is not always the bad guy. A white hat is a hacker who specializes in finding security flaws before the black hats discover them. And a black hat is a hacker who exploits computer systems to do evil and for personal gains. In this session, I will focus on the white hat or the ethical hacker. Let me start with a short story. Barnaby Jack, who died recently, was a famous white hat. He demonstrated how some ATMs could be hacked so that they ejected bank notes. Thankfully, Barnaby Jack demonstrated this to banks so that they could fix the problem before the black hats got there. One of the first examples of ethical hackers at work was in the 1970s when the United States government used groups of experts to hack its own computer systems. Ethical hacking is also known as penetration testing or intrusion testing. To test a security system, ethical hackers use the same methods as the black hats but report problems instead of taking advantage of them. An ethical hacker also communicates test results and could provide recommendations of how the problems can be resolved. So how do you prepare yourself for this role? There are several routes, so here is one way forward. Let me assume that you have completed grade 12 or metric and at this stage have no background in computers. So firstly, you need to have an overview of computers and computer networks. An a certification is a starting point for a career in IT and would give you a broad overview of the architecture and maintenance of computers, mobile devices and operating systems. At this stage, you should consider entering the IT industry as a desktop support technician. After gaining experience, you could then consider certifications such as the Network Plus and CCNA that will give you knowledge of computer networks. With this knowledge, you could move into a network or system administrator role. With some time spent in this position, you could focus on security certifications and move into an information security role. While in this role, you could focus on penetration testing and other security tools and processes. After gaining all this rich and relevant experience, you could work towards the Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. At this point, you could start marketing yourself as an ethical hacker. To beat a hacker, you need to think like one, and this is exactly what this role will prepare you to do. But remember, the black hats are always thinking of new ways to win. So as a white hat, you could never sit idle. You have to be constantly updating your knowledge to defeat the forces of evil. Forbes, a respected magazine, recently rated ethical hacking as one of the high-paying jobs of the future. As a penetration tester, you have the opportunity to work across a wide spectrum of industries. Increasingly, insurance companies require organizations to have their systems penetration tested. Thus, there is a growing demand for graduates with skills in computer security. You could work as an in-house tester or as a freelance tester which could take you to different client sites. With time, you shift from testing to consultancy where you provide solutions to security problems. If things go well, you could land up as the Chief Information Security Officer where you will be responsible 
for the entire security infrastructure of an organization. So this brings us to the end of the session. I hope you found it useful. Do try and meet people in this field to know more as well as research the subject on the internet. Good luck.